Hi, I'm Lindsay, and welcome to Office Hours. Math tools have taken on many forms throughout history, like this, or this, or this. And now more than ever, we're using our computers and phones to fulfill our math needs. I want to show you all the ways OneNote can help you and your students in the classroom. Let's dive in. First thing I'll show you is Equation Tools, which provides a library of mathematical symbols and structures to build equations. To access this toolkit, select the Insert tab, then choose Equation. From there, you can select your symbols or structures to place into your equations. There's a Recents tab to store your most recently used assets. You can also write your equation by drawing 6x squared, plus 3x equals 0. From here, in OneNote for Windows 10, you can access the Math Assistant. To do this, select your equation using the Lasso tool, then click Math. Now this is where the magic happens. If there's a mistake in the interpretation of your equation, you can fix that here. You can also convert your equation to text by clicking here. But most importantly, this dropdown is where you can get all your relevant solutions to your problem. For me, that includes graphing solutions and solving for x. Here, I can also get the step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to get the answers, which can help with student comprehension. You can also turn on the Immersive Reader to get this interface to be more accessible by clicking this icon, which will read the steps out loud. The quadratic formula gives two solutions, one when plus or minus is addition, and one when it is subtraction. Finally, making practice quizzes is a snap within OneNote. You can choose how many questions you want your quiz to be, test it out, and share the link with your students through forms. So while your students are testing their understanding of the material, you get to save time writing and evaluating quiz questions. Thanks for watching Office Hours. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more Microsoft EDU tips. And leave a like and a comment in our social media with what topic we should cover next. See you next time.